2D tile map is a powerful tool that provides you with a simple way to create two-dimensional environments based on a grid layout. In 2018.3, Unity is adding support for a new type of grid, which will allow you to make isometric levels, the likes of which can be seen in Pillars of Eternity, The Banner Saga, Shadowrun, and many more. In addition, since 2018.2, Unity also supports hexagonal grids, which are commonly encountered in strategies and other turn-based games. In this video, you will learn how to set up the new isometric and hexagonal tile maps, as well as all the essential workflows that will help you get started. Be sure to check out the demo project in the video description if you would like to use the demonstrated assets yourself. Tilemap has been a part of the editor since 2017.2 and doesn't require any additional package downloads to work. To use the new Tilemap grid, you just need to make sure that you're on the right version of Unity. You're going to need 2018.2 or higher for hex tilemaps and 2018.3 onwards for isometric. Tilemap consists of several components working together. First, we have a grid game object. This creates your chosen grid type in the scene and gives you further options to customize its parameters, such as the cell size. We can then attach one or more tile map game objects to our grid. Once we have a tile map, we need to create a palette which will hold our tile assets. You can access the tile palette menu from Window, 2D, Tile Palette. From here, you can create new palettes corresponding to each of the different grid types. You can add tiles to a palette by simply dragging the sprites from the project window onto the palette. Once you have a tile ready, select it with the brush tool and choose the tile map game object you wish to paint on. If you go back to the scene view, you will now be able to start painting with your tile. Your isometric or hexagonal grid can hold more than one tile map. You can use this to place some decorative objects on top of your tiles or to create elevation levels and buildings. You can change the sort order of the new tile map so that it renders on top of the previous one. You can also change the tile anchor setting to place your tiles on a higher point relative to the grid. If you're using isometric tiles, you could also use a Z as Y tile map and create elevation by simply changing the Z position of the tiles. There's an example available on the 2D Tech Demos repository, where you will find a scripted brush that lets you adjust the Z value dynamically as you paint. You can find a link to the repository down in the video description. At some point, you will likely want to add collision to your tiles. For this purpose, you can use a TileMap Collider 2D component which will automatically generate collision shapes for each individual tile. In the Tile Asset settings, you can adjust the type of physics shape each tile has. You can change the collider to be either sprite-based or grid-based. If your tile has a grid collider, its collision shape will match exactly with the shape of the grid cell it is attached to. With a sprite collider, you can add a custom physics shape to your tiles by using the Sprite Editor. Once you have a tile map collider, you might wish to merge the individual shapes into one by using a composite collider 2D. As you can see, tile map offers a simple and fast solution to creating physics shapes. If you have characters in your top-down game, you will most likely want them to be able to go behind and in front of objects on your level. In this case, be sure to set the sort mode on the tile map with your objects to individual. Now, if your character's sort order is the same as that of the tile map, it will appear to go behind and in front of the tiles on that tile map. You could adjust the sort order dynamically to move the character to higher or lower elevation levels. If you want to speed up your world building with tile map, you can use rule tiles to extend your tile presets. For example, you could make it so that when you're painting a certain type of terrain, the correctly oriented tiles are chosen automatically for you. You could also randomize different variations of the same tile. 
Rule tiles can save you a great amount of time in creating complex 2D environments. The new hexagonal and isometric rule tiles are now available on the 2D Tech Demos repository, so feel free to go ahead and check them out for yourself. Of course, you're also able to extend tile map with your own tile types. Take a look at the feature documentation to learn more. Hopefully, this video has taught you some useful workflows for the new types of tile map. There's a lot more you can do, but these basics will be a good starting point if you want to try them out yourself. You may also want to check out some of our tile map blog posts, including the one on procedural generation by Ethan Bruins. The assets used in this video are available down in the link below and are free for you to use as you wish. As always, we're looking forward to seeing all the awesome projects that you will create using Unity's new tools. Please share your creations and feedback on the Unity forum.